Happy fall, y'all. It's the second day of fall. Um, I really wanted to do this last week, but it didn't happen. So I'm filming my fall decorate with me video today. And I've got some stuff from the past and a few things that I bought this year. So we're gonna try to make it look a little more fall-like around here. And I've got some wax cubes burning that matches a candle that I bought and it smells really good in here. Um, I think it's um, salted caramel butterscotch scent from Walmart. You gotta try it. You're gonna be hungry when you try it. <laughs> okay. So this is what we're looking at. I'm taking the white blanket off of the couch and this is a burgundy and green afghan that my mother-in-law made for us years ago and I just thought that would go better with like fall colors. We're gonna do that. And these are some flowers and things that I had from last year. This is some stuff I bought this year. And this is a little thing that my daughter gave us that she had bought uh, to hand out to a few people for her wedding that was supposed to have been in March. They ended up not having a big wedding because of COVID. So she still just gave everybody their little gifts and things. Um, they did get married. I went for it and everything. And they came for a visit later and brought gifts for people that should have been wedding gifts. But anyway, as you can see, when they was traveling, the little flower um, was breaking on here a little bit. She's got spiders. She was gonna do kind of like a Spider-Man type of theme. I'm gonna keep these spiders. I might leave them on there until Halloween's over, but after that, I'm gonna take them off and keep them and like for a, I don't know, a sentimental thing. I thought that would be cool. I'm gonna try to decorate this little box up for fall. See what I can do with that. And these, I have these little jars um, I've had them for years and years and years. They had jelly beans in them. I don't even remember where I got them. I want to say one of the kids got them for me when they was little, but I don't remember. Um, too many years has passed. I can't remember. But I dumped the jelly beans out and washed them. And I've been collecting a few acorns here and there. Me and the kids used to collect acorns when we went walking when they was kids. And I didn't get enough acorns. And it's raining today, so I'm just going to put what I have in these little jars, and maybe I can collect a few more over the next week or so, and it'll still be fall. It's going to be fall through November, so that'll be okay. Let's get to just wanted to show y'all, too, that my daughter Katie got me this acorn necklace for Mother's Day. I think she got it off of Etsy, but I really like it.
Okay, so I'm gonna do a walkthrough really quick and show you each thing and where I got it. Um, this is on my front door. I know my front door needs cleaning. That's gonna be in another video, possibly next week, um, if the weather lets me. Um, I've had this little thing for probably 20 years. So I really don't remember where I got it. I wanted to say Dollar Tree, but I feel like it wouldn't have lasted 20 years if I'd have got it at Dollar Tree. So maybe it was Kmart or something. I'm really not even sure. It's been and then coming in through the garage, I just hung this little sign that I bought this year at Dollar Tree. It says, Autumn, Falling Leaves, Pumpkin Pie, Happy Fall, Hot Apple Cider, Family and Friends. I thought that was really cute for a dollar. And sometimes when I get stuff at Dollar Tree, it only lasts the one year, but I have made stuff last for four or five years from Dollar Tree, so. Moving on into the kitchen area, this is a little pail that my friend Clara at work got me for Mother's Day with some stuff in it, and they wrote my name on it. I would really like to write Miss on top and B on bottom, that way it says Miss Vicky B. So I'll probably do that one day, but I just got the little um, green styrofoam stuff from Dollar Tree to put inside. And I think all the flowers came from Dollar Tree. I think. Now there's a chance these might have came from Walmart because I did pick up a couple of things there, but I'm thinking it came from Dollar Tree. I could be wrong. And my little wine rack. Um, these came in the bag with the pumpkins too from uh, Walmart this year. I bought these two candles, I wanna say last year, maybe the year before, but I'm thinking it was last year. And I either got those at Dollar Tree or Dollar General. I'm thinking I got them at Dollar General. These are the two little um, jars that I told y'all about earlier. Um, I put what, um, not pecans, I started to say pecans. I put what acorns that I had in there. I'm hoping to find some more before it falls over and fill them the rest of the way up. They're tiny, so it won't take very many. And that little thing in the back here, this, my husband bought me that at Dollar Tree, just something fun to do, and I sat and colored it. Had fun, it was something relaxing to do, so I just set that out. It's not the best, but I like it. And I got the fall themed dish towel at Dollar Tree. I really, really love leaves. Leaves are my favorite in the fall. I hope to one day get to go to Vermont in the fall, just so I can see the leaves. And I didn't wanna move my I Love Lucy oven mitts right away, so I stuck them at the top there. I might have to move them at Christmas because I have a lot more Christmas stuff than fall stuff. And I put my little fall pot holders that matches the towel that I got at Dollar Tree. I got all that at Dollar Tree. This came with two pot holders for a dollar. So that was a good deal. And the box that my daughter Katie gave me and my husband uh, that I told y'all about, I just put some fall leaves and some flowers in there to give it color. Um, I stuck the little styrofoam things inside to hold them. And I know I said I was gonna leave the little spiders on there, but when I was taking the flowers off, the spiders came off. So that didn't work out as well as I thought. But this is a little box that I think I can decorate up for all the holidays. I can do something with it for Christmas, springtime, summer. So I'll get a lot of use. This is the shelf above my fish tank. I just put um, a couple of pine cones that I already had here. They're actually cinnamon scented that you throw in the fireplace. I just set those up there. The flowers and the vases I bought last year at Dollar Tree. Um, the leaf garland I bought this year at Dollar Tree. These little mini pumpkins came in that bag with the other pine cones and acorns and the candle if you can see it without the glare, is the one that I was telling you about that matches my wax cubes and it's salted caramel butterscotch scent. That might be one of my new favorites. Right now my fall and winter favorite 
is hazelnut cream, but I think this one's going to be a tie with that one. I really love it. And my little table behind the couch. I just went ahead and left the pictures of the kids and my little candle there. In the back, if you can see it, these are some pine cone candle holders. Right now, I've just got some little orange tea lights in there, but we bought those through a school fundraiser. I don't even know how many years ago when my daughter was in middle school, I think, or maybe ninth grade. Um, it was a Yankee Candle fundraiser, so that's where I got those. And these are some more of the little stuff that came in that bag that I got from Walmart. I think that was like $3.98 or something, so that wasn't too bad. And my couch, I think it looks a little more fall-like with this color on it instead of just the plain white. I think the plain white might go back up there for winter. That'll be good for Christmas and winter probably. Okay, I hope y'all enjoyed my little fall decorate with me. Like I said, it wasn't nothing extravagant, just um, something to celebrate the season is all that really was. And I enjoyed it. And I really liked some of the stuff I bought this year. And of course I like the stuff I already had or I still wouldn't have it, but I'll keep adding to that every year. And it won't be, but probably next week, we'll put some Halloween stuff out. Like I said in my last video, my husband's already got a lot of Halloween stuff out over by the fireplace, but we've got a lot more. So I'll, I'm not gonna take down my fall decorations to put up Halloween, I'll just add to it. And then when Halloween's over, I'll take that part down and leave the fall up through Thanksgiving and then we'll move on to Christmas. And that's gonna be a lot of fun. But anyway, um, I told y'all that at the end of this video, I might would tell you what I had planned for the next few videos. It's gonna be quite a bit of videos. Um, I am going to do a series of cleaning room by room, my whole entire house. And it's gonna take a while. It's probably gonna take a few months. I really hope to be done before I put out my Christmas decorations. But if not, maybe I'll at least done be done with the front part of the house before then so that I can do my Christmas decorations and then move on and keep cleaning the back rooms. But if the weather will let me, we're gonna start outside, do the front of the house, the back porch, and then move on into the inside. And that series is gonna be called From Filth to Fresh because I really need to clean up this filthy house and make it all fresh again. And so I hope y'all will enjoy that. There's gonna be lots and lots of deep cleaning and cleaning that I don't do on an everyday basis that probably a lot of it, some of it needs to be done once a month. Some of it needs to be done a couple of times a year. And like I've said before, I haven't done any deep spring-like cleaning in a couple of years. And I didn't even get to my bedroom then when I did that. I did pretty good. I did a lot of the rooms in the house, but I didn't get to my bedroom. So we're gonna do every room. And some rooms I might have to do like half the room in one video, half the room in another or something because like my living room is really big. Uh, I'm not sure yet what I'll get to, but that's gonna be the name of it, From Filth to Fresh. And I hope y'all will watch and hopefully give y'all some cleaning motivation that maybe you haven't had lately and we can all get everything cleaned up. I hope y'all have a good day. I really enjoyed making this video. Y'all leave me some comments and subscribe. See y'all next week.